Welcome to Ashes Wednesday on a Thursday. We are back TTSing it up this week uh, so that we could try some time dice and some time decks. So Chris and I both built these decks um, at some point during the day today. And when we pulled our dice out, we realized our dice pools are identical, which may be a little scary scary how close our decks were going to are going to be so i don't know what's going to happen there um i will say the the way i built this deck is i actually didn't pick a phoenix born i just picked cards i wanted to play um in some cards that uh chris had shown me from the shuffle bus tournaments that have been popular and been used because they're good for example raptor herder i just put three in because it seems like it's in every deck so and then i just picked a phoenix born that gave me the most health in the correct size spell board and how wide i wanted to go with my allies so that's how i built mine today chris how about yourself i think it's a valid approach jason just to kind of pick that later i know a lot of folks do it that way and i think either doing that or starting with the phoenix born are both valid approaches so you know i think that you're you're doing well there and leo can be a beast um yeah i i went with james uh, just because of his hunting ability he can kind of dive into the deck and pull out an ally um, and you just take a little pain to to do that tutor but it's a super powerful ability and essentially gets you a six card starting hand which is huge so um, and then yeah I just wanted to experiment with some of the stuff that time had to had to offer and we'll see how it goes all right let's roll them up roll them bones that's a lot of basics you got six That's of them? Six basics for me. I got four, so not a whole lot better. Okay, well, I'll go first then. Um, I'm going to go ahead, start off with... Let's see, you've got one froggy die up. We'll start out slowish. We're going to start out with a book. We're going to go summon Indigo, Cle Indigo Creeper. And then we're going to go ahead and do James' ability. Okay. He's laughing. I'm wondering if he's got the creeper package now. Oh. And I'm going to reveal a raptor herder. Okay. Take a damage and draw him to my hand. All right. And then for a side action, well, that was, that was made inside. So it's over to you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I didn't necessarily need to play that first. I just thought it was hilarious <laughs> that I'm not going to not play that first. Um, let's meditate. Uh, do I want to meditate yet? Um, I'm going to meditate one off the top for sure. Temper, temple Elder. Uh, let's gamble and do one more. Ooh. Didn't want to do that one. Swift Messenger. Don't know if you have that in yours or not. So we're going to... I guess you'll just have to find out. We're just going to make these both biggins. Yeah. Sounds good. And then I'll pass back to you. Cool. Um, I'm going to go... I'm just. I'm going to play this real carefully, I think. Um, I'm just going to go main action, play a sympathy die, and we're going to throw out guilt link. And then side action, I'm going to play a basic. And I'm going to play out in power. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any of that. So let's go um, over to me. We'll go Mirror Spirit. Oh, Mirror Spirit. Okay, we got a little bit of different stuff going here. That's good. And no side. Back to you. Okay. Over to me. Okay, let's go. Side action. I'm going to need to meditate. I'm just trying to see how many. I think I need to meditate three because of my terrible roll. Actually, I might need to do more than that. Let's see. One, two. Three. 
I'm going to do three for now. So three off the top. I'm going to go one, two, three. That was three cards I did not want to see go. Um, I'm going to go six up here. Here. And... I'm going to go one more sympathy die. <clears throat> and then main action, let's go ahead and we'll bring out a creepy creeper. Bringing out the creeper. <clears throat> one of the cutest units in Ashes. All right, all you. Um, let's just make it easy on you. I'm just going to get rid of that thing right away. All right. So I get a status token on my guilt link. And then I get to bring out a seedling. You sure do. All right, that's that. Yep, I'm passed. All righty. Let's go. Side. Main action, sympathy. Yep. Basic. Play out a jungle warrior. And then... No side action. Over to you. We'll go Raptor Herder. Very nice. I gotta see what I want to spend here. Spending that. We will grab ourselves a little hatchling. And then I will pass it back to you. Okay. Some basic themes here that fit, but not all identical. Um, and do the same thing, I think. After Herder. And no side. We'll go time hopper and side action. Let's bring out a glowfinch. Playing some time hoppers too. You're gonna fill up your board pretty quick. I mean, I could have gone Koji. I just wanted the extra health to see if it works and I played Koji a lot. So that's why I went with Leo. All right, good. Yep, back to you. Well, this is a pickle. Standard bear. Yeah, I almost put that one in. I was looking at looking at her. <clears throat> and no side. All right, what happened to my hand? Oh, it's gone. I've played it all, haven't I? Let's uh let's bring out a mirror spirit. Um okay, nothing's exhausted right now, but you could definitely do that. Oh, that's right. It has to Hold on a second. You you're that's a solid point. Um, I mean, it's just something I like to point out because a lot of folks, like, with especially that unit, don't realize that yeah. it's going to come out at zero attack. And that could that could be pertinent if you're looking to use it as a blocker, like if you need a blocker, or if you're going to load it up with tokens later. But God, this is going to be a tricky matchup, to be honest with you. Um, <sighs> I 
I don't know what to do here. I don't think I should have played the Glowfinch. Mistakes were made, Chris. Mistakes were made. Glowfinch is good. I can attack with Glowfinch, right? I mean, yeah, I'm not going to block it. Right, but I mean it busts, <laughs> it busts Raptor Hatchling is what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, you can do that for sure. Because Dreadnought, Anchornaut, I cannot. I've not done a main action, have I? <laughs> not yet. Um, God, I have to do it. Because I screwed up kind of bad here. Um, oh, that was a mistake. You're going to shoot your own Glowfinch? I am going to shoot my that, own that, Glowfinch. That's, 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 yeah, that's a side action. So. Yep, so side action, kill my Glowfinch, you discard. And I mill too. Yep. And then I'm going to play... Welder and Vengeance. Then I'm going to play a... Indigo Creeper. Creeper. Indigo Creeper. Yeah, I could almost talk. I almost got the sentence out. So we'll go uh, Creepy Creeperton. Cool. Trying to un unravel this puzzle we have made. This is really tough, I'm not going to lie. Back to you, sir. <clears throat> I don't want to go all out because I'm really scared for the clap back. Um, I'll pass for now. You're passing? Mm -hmm. I'll go... Herder, Hatchling, Creeper into your Phoenixborn. Okay, so that's two, four, five coming in? Yep. Okay. I take it all. Okay. Pass to you. Okay. Still got Mirror Spirit sitting there, ready to go. And time hoppers. But his battle board's almost full. So hmm. Yeah, this is this is tough to kind of math out. I think here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come in um, attacking. Yep. We're gonna go <clears throat> luminous seedling. Standard bearer. Raptor Hatchling, and then Standard Bear is going to give her plus one to Luminous Seedling. Okay. And Standard Bear is a, a one. A one three. So we'll block um, Raptor Herder with Anchor Knot. Raptor Hatchling is going to get blocked by Anchor Knot. Okay. Yep. And then I will take uh, two. Two. Okay, that leaves me with two exhausted units. All right. We're going to go um, into a mirror spirit. Choose my side. Okay, three attack. <clears throat> I need to pay for him. Do. There. He's an expensive mirror spirit. And there. If you flip those over, it's a three. Oh, yeah, thank you. Um, two and he's a one and you have a hopper dice there
That's not good. Um, yeah, I'll pass to you. All right. Pass, pass. You're passing? Yep. Oh. I'll go time hopper. Okay. It's kind of a cool card, to be honest with you. All right. Um, I'm going to yeah, place a status silly. token on Mirror Spirit. Of course you are. And then I'll pass to you. All right, pass. I think I... One, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, I think I just passed then. I don't think I have an Actually, issue. With, start with you. Um, I could side action though right now, couldn't I? Could side action then pass, yeah. Yeah, but that doesn't really do anything because your block is so big. Um... I'm trying to think if I want to sacrifice anything before we pass here. Yeah, let's go to the next. Yep. Oh, this is a grindy one. I got to figure this out. All right. Yeah, it's going to be yucky. All right. And then I'm going to give her, I'm going to exhaust my class die. I wish they would have never given the mirror spirit wings because. I always have other games in mind where it's a flyer and you can't block the flyer. <laughs> um, oh, it doesn't really have wings. I didn't see it that way at all. Oh, to me, it looks like it's flying. Yeah, I mean, I could guess I could kind of see the little shadowy wing things, yeah. like the, it just, the dark art. To me, but... for some reason, in my brain, it maybe just it's just it's probably just me that makes it look like it's flying. Oh, I mean, that, that could, I could see that now that you mention it, but yeah, they're at, especially at a distance. Ooh, so. that's not a bad roll. Only two basics. You only have three. three. Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, draw up. Um, yep. I'm going to draw five. And I'm going to put a token on my strader bear. All right. Oh, let's, um, right out of the gates, we're going to put another Indigo Creeper out, I think. What's your spell board? Seven. Golly. Um, your Creeper would have died last round and oh, yep, brought and, on a seed link. And I didn't mean Creeper anyway, I meant Mirror Spirit. Um okay. I mean, we could do some fun stuff here still. Um, let's go. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is so bad. Um, or good. Side action. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, this is so hard. Chris, what do I do? What do I do, Chris? <laughs> this is a, quite the puzzle. It is quite the puzzle. So let's go um, time hopper. Okay. So when you're in a when you're in a pickle, um, you get a time hopper out. Is what you do. That's what I was told. Yeah, okay, that board's full. He comes sure out. Full. I will give my seedling a status token. Okay. Sure. And then we will. No side action. We'll give it back to you. 
Okay. Go warrior. And side action will go James. And we'll yank a raptor herder. Sounds good. Where do you? Um I don't know what to do again. Um, let's. Yeah, we'll live dangerously. Swing your Phoenix born for four. Okay. Um, I'll block a jungle warrior against the raptor hatchling. Okay. So we're both and dead. Then, and then and I'll take the two. two. Yep, and then that has inheritance, so I'm going to give one token to my seedling. All right, back to you. Okay. I'm going to get creepy. Um, and then no side action. No side action. <clears throat> I'm going to go um, Mirror Spirit. My side. Two on there. Cool. Back to you. We're going to get creepy at your mirror spirit. Yeah. James is going to go ahead, and, or Leo is going to go ahead and block that one. Okay. So take two. And then side action, I'll go ahead and guilt link. Yep. And I'll remove the status token to destroy a unit I control. I'll choose my creeper. Yep. And then I'll choose you. And I think you choose the unit. It says choose a target player to destroy a unit they control. Bunny go bye bye. And then I bring out a seedling. <laughs> Over to me. Yep. Um. Let's do this. I'm trying to think the best use of my dice is what I'm trying to figure. So we're going to side action, invigorate. Well, that's a good one. I should have packed that card. And we'll go one, two, three. And then I'm going to swing both my mirrors, so a three and a five, into your Phoenix Born. Block five. Yep, knew that was coming. And take the three. 
and we'll throw a status over here. Over to you, sir. Okay. Let's make some thorns. Yeah? Why wouldn't you? And side action, um, no side action. You know what? I liked your place so much, I think I'm going to do it myself. It's a really good idea. <laughs> and I will grab two thorns. Sure. Back to you. I will swing my two thorns at your phoenix born. Hmm. I'll take it. Taking six. All right, side action. Ah, no side action. All right. Uh, main action. Book. Um. No side action. Okay. After her, her. No side action. Let's go time hopper. Status there. No side action. Sweet. All right, I got to think about how I'm going to do this play here. If I'm going to get totally boned if I do it. Let's see. I think I'll be okay. Um, so I'm going to go bend these two as yep. basics. And then I'm going to play as a side action, Vengeance. So I'm going to destroy X units I control. So I'm going to destroy my two Brilliant Thorns. Okay. They have Inheritance. So they grant their, grant their tokens. To your Luminous. To my Seedling. Yep. And then add one to the attack value of two units control for the remainder of the turn. Um, so those two units are going to be um, ra the two raptor herders. Okay. And then we're going to come in at your phoenix born two, let's see, two, four, sorry, uh, yeah, two, four, six. Six? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to block with Raptor Herder and Time Hopper on these two, and I'll take two. Because they only okay. have one defense, right? Yeah. You can't block with Time Hopper. Oh, it cannot. Um,
a block, one raptor herder with a raptor herder. Okay. Sure. Um, and then I'll take four. Okay. All right. That's all she wrote over here. I'm going to swing a brilliant thorn into your luminous seedling. Um, I will guard and take three. <clears throat> Side action, I'll put out a glowfinch. This is really tricky. Where oh where is my little glowfinch? Where did I kill my glowfinch to? <laughs> I don't know. Did you put it in your discard instead of your No, I just looked in there. Well, I'll keep looking. Go ahead. We can grab a goldfinch for you. That's not a big deal. It was probably somebody's like, no, it's right there. Yeah, I found it. <clears throat> okay. I was Somebody's say watching. Like, I it, saw so. it. You're blind. <laughs> can never get enough goldfinches. Oh, my goodness. This is this is an interesting matchup. I'm going to crack a seedling. Yeah, you are. Bring it. Out two more thorns. Yep. Sorry, that should be over here. Um, side action. I'm gonna go ahead and meditate one. And that's it. I'm going to swing a thorn with my timekeeper. Swing a thorn with your time hopper? Yep, I'll swing this one. Okay, yeah, nothing has unit guards, so that takes the damage. And then side action, you I'm going to pop it, it. Okay, and we'll give standard bearer a, a status token then. Did you okay. fight? You fought back, obviously. So you would have killed Time Hopper. Yeah, I right? I'll, 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 um, let me think. Nope, because I want to keep your battle war rule. Okay. I'll not counter. Okay, you only have you have two units up yet. Yep. A little bit like playing a game of chicken. <laughs> Just let's see. a bit. So let's see if I... Man. Coming in for four and one. And you could easily just take the one and block the four. And then I'd be opening myself up to three damage back, plus a creeper, potentially. Okay. So I think the answer here to break the stalemate a little bit, and at least make you answer, is to play massive growth on my standard bearer. Okay. I did not put massive growth in. I th thinking about it. All right. And hmm. no side action. Uh, 
at least compl- complicates your decision making. Yeah, I mean it's and that's three. Uh, yeah, I mean what we do here, I think, is we just play out another book. Another book. Well, you can't bring it out, at least. No, cannot bring it out. That is for sure. Still got two cards and three dice left, though. Achieve this criminy. Regardless of who who turns out victorious, this is kind of a crazy game. Because it's similar, but not exact builds. Mm-hmm. And I don't mind the Glowfinch in here. It's kind of annoying to have to mill yourself two cards when you kill it. Yeah, it's It's got a couple of my good ones. Right. Um, it's just so a, it's a nice, annoying right. card to, to have there uh, for your opponent. I do like a lot of the stuff that these time hoppers, I have not, because it's been such a weird matchup, I've not got to use the time dice the way I wanted to um, by actually putting status tokens on and moving stuff around. I think I only put one anchor knot in. I think I need to add that up because I do need unit protection to do my full plan. So I think that that's how I'd revise this deck. <clears throat> okay um i'm gonna go f- let's see cheapest creepers no they're indigo this really, creepers it's <laughs> really hard it's a little ashes joke you like it yeah yeah dad joke um, 101 okay i'm gonna go for it it's probably gonna kill me but i'm gonna pop the glow finch no two cards. How are you popping it? What are you doing? What are you doing? With a with a nature die. Okay. I'm gonna swing into your Phoenix Born with Standard Bearer and Brilliant Thorn. The Brilliant Thorn's a four attack. Standard Bearer is a five attack. Oh man. Um. So I will block with Brilliant Thorn, the big one. Fiver. Yep. Okay. It'll die. It sure will. And then I'm taking four in return. Taking four back, yep. Hmm. And how much did that deal? Uh, were you going to counter, by the way? Yeah, yeah, counter. So th- three back. Yeah. And massive gross goes away at, in a turn, right? It will. Oh man! What's he gonna do? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna be short a dice now. I'll play an indigo. I'll play a play a creeper out. Got a creepy creeper. Yep. Can I place the stash token on himself? From when he dies. Oh, is that that's only when he dies, isn't it? Yeah, when he dies. What? When? When? Who dies? What are you talking about? The 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 thorn. Hold on one second. Oh, I didn't do that, did I? He would, he would inherit something. Yeah, he would have just inherited this guy. Um, yep. And then I'm going to pass. Okay. You know, I'm out of dice. I'm all exhausted out. Yeah, so then back to me. Yep. I'll just play out another book. Okay. And then I will uh, pass. I assume you're going to pass again. Yep. And then I'll swing for two with Creeper. Take your two damage. Okay. And then we'll go to... He'll die. And we'll go to the next round. 
So the next round, yeah. Oh man. Boy, oh boy, this is a thinky one. I mean, y- you did just enough to to keep me from killing you. Okay, so standard bearer dies after the massive growth falls off. Brilliant Thorn dies and doesn't really have anything good to give its inheritance to, so it's going to give it to a raptor herder, because why not? Got to um, go somewhere. And then, yep, and then let's go ahead and uh, roll it up. Who doggy. I'm going to leave that class symbol there, because why not? Okay. I've, I've got the game. Do you? So you can do, do you got because, one easy 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 damage? I I have I have three easy damage. Oh. And you go first, right? And I go first. So I'm gonna I'm gonna double meditate. One, two, for six, six, and then I'm gonna molten gold. Close it out. Yes. Nice. Molten gold. That'd be another one. I should probably put that one in there. That's a good finisher. I I was sitting yeah, it, on this and I just couldn't get it out to get the turn off. Yeah, I I meditated away one. You got me milled one. Like I, when I had to meditate three at the beginning, I got a massive growth and an explosive growth, and it it made me real sad. Yeah, I mean, if if I would have had one more dice remaining, I could have explosed of growth. Uh, my creeper and won the game, but I was one dice yeah, short that's... from doing that. So I was like, "Oh, what do you do?" One dice short. No, that was a good close... game. That was fun. That close was match. Yeah, super close. And it's like kind of said, funny. A lot of the same stuff, but you know, it, it which, but still completely different at the same time. Both working yeah, with so the me... status tokens and things like that. So. Yeah, I would have liked to have gotten to use the time dice power a little bit more, but I just didn't roll the right sides, and then I needed the dice for other stuff. But yeah, um, I like but the yeah, time I at least hopper. got the I got to play with standard bearer a little bit. That's a pretty cool card. Yep. Just like especially for those go wide strategies, just really helps. Molten go gold is such a harder. good finishing card. It's a one of in the deck. I think it's a good one of. But, I mean, you only had five cards left, so your odds of getting it were pretty dang good. I had it last round. Okay. So I, I was just I was trying to put myself in a position where I would not die. But and I you would could get the next round. Yep. Get the next beginning of the next round. So. Nope, that makes perfect sense. No, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Really, really cool match. I'm looking forward to seeing, as they bring out more time cards, like what other sorts of funny shenanigans you can do. Because I think we're just scratching the surface right now. I think right now time is just a splash color. I don't think I don't think you can really main time unless you're going into the Jericho deck pretty hard. Right. In this, I mean, this should shake the meta a little bit with the time dice. Have, 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 are they allowing it right now, or have they not allowed it yet? Um, it's allowed in the Shuffle Bus tournament, and the the guy I just played against was playing time dice, um, and it it beat me. Um, the, my second round, um, which was against, well, which was against waves, um, was running some time dice with time hoppers as well. Um, so that was a, that was a pretty fun match. And we're going to try to put that up later this week. Um, Jason's been having some internet trouble, so Always. it's been hard for him to upload videos and stuff like that. So sorry about the delays there, but, um, but the, yeah, that was, that was a fun match and you can kind of get a flavor for what time hoppers can do in that match. Yeah, I should have that up probably Saturday or Sunday. We'll see. One of those days. It's be, it'll um, be up in the next couple of days. And then while we're sitting here chatting, I um, just want to mention a couple things. Uh, first off, again, I, I mentioned it every week. First five Fridays. Have it starts at 8.30 p.m. Um, Central Time on the Ashes Discord. Um, come and join us. We're doing some fun casual play. Um, I was one of the participants in the first webcam game of first five fridays and worked really really well um really enjoyed the games that i played it was just a lot of fun seeing people with their setups and as more people get into doing webcam i think you guys will realize just how fun it is to look at the cards hold them and roll the dice and just have a good time that way yeah that's it's yeah that's a lot of fun 
And hopefully, also, hopefully one of these Fridays will clear up for me and I can join it because right now my son's in high school lacrosse, so a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of games on Fridays right now. And if you're new and just like picking this up, you're watching the the latest video that comes out. Definitely, it's definitely casual friendly. Um, there's a lot of veteran players on there who are willing to pick up a pre-con and teach you the game. Um, you don't even have to necessarily own the product. Um, you could play on Ashteki and kind of get an idea for the game for free that way, even if you don't own TTS. So, Absolutely. Absolutely. And TTS, um, super easy to learn. So even an old guy yeah, like it's... me figured it out. So, so. Yeah. yeah, it's it's super versatile. If you do any board gaming, it's just a good purchase to have uh, to have TTS there. Um, but doing a lot of it's it's really kept me sane through the pandemic. Um, and then the last the last people I want to mention, um, there is a new podcast that started um, kind of covering ashes. It's called the Jade Throne Podcast. Um, the guys over there were originally covering the Legend of the Five Rings LCG, um, and they had played like a had a, a lot of history with old L5R as well. Um, but with the sunsetting of that game, um, they've jumped over to Ashes coverage. Um, so they're they're covering right now. They're going through each of the time, um, each of the, each it's not excuse me each of the dice types and kind of going over signature units and themes for those different magic types to kind of acclimate for new new players. Um, Chaos Theory from the Discord's been joining in um, to kind of talk a little bit about those strategies as well, which has been really really fun and engaging to listen to. Um, so I would highly encourage you guys to go ahead and search for the Jade Throne podcast. And uh, it, you know, kind of catch some of their ashes content as they're putting it out. Yeah, that sounds good. Absolutely, the more the more coverage of a great game, the better for the game. And that that about does it for us, right, Chris? Anything else you I'd, got to add? No, I'd say that's it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, kind of mirror match, not quite. Uh, and uh, let us know what you think. Uh, also, let us know what you want to see next. Um, we are always willing to take some new ideas and try to run with them and see if, what we can do to make it work. Awesome. Till next week. See ya. Th thanks, everybody.